Is, is there a, a transition process you'll expect for the game to be quick, quick at least at first before it slows down at least mentally and, and you're able to do your thing? Yeah, I think you uh, you go out there first two shifts and kind of feel it out. Um, just just kind of get your feet back underneath you and kind of get the feel of a game back again. You don't really get in practice. Um, and then go from there. Hopefully uh, hopefully get right back up to uh, where I was at before uh, pretty quick. Playing the offside okay? Yeah, for sure. Really excited for it. How frustrated or what was the emotional missing all this time? Your emotional mindset. Yeah, it's tough, um, especially when the team's not uh, performing like we know we can. Um, it can be pretty frustrating uh, sitting there pretty helpless, but um, it, it kind of makes you want to come back more and stronger. And when you do come back, you want to be ready. Um, and it, it kind of pushes you into that mindset where uh, you really want to come back and help it as much as you can. How do you know when your shoulder's ready to take the physical abuse of an NHL game? I've been working hard in practice. Um, my skills guys have been pushing on me uh, to start out, and then uh, practices got pretty pretty physical to make sure I was meeting the demand that it would take in a game. So um, I don't know how much you can say that that's 100% like a game, but um, I'm as prepared as I think I can be, and uh, I feel confident with it. So I'm um, going out there and uh, going to see how it feels tonight. Senators owner Eugene Melnick recently made comments critical of the lease rebuild, saying that they forgot about the defense. Does that add any more spice to this rivalry for you? Not really. I mean, people are going to say what they want to say, whether it's uh, a GM or uh, or a fan on the street. So um, we worry about what we have to worry about in our, our room and um, care about what the people in there say and then uh, see how we can do from there. After a rocky stretch, is there a sense amongst the defense that you guys have something to prove? Uh, always trying to prove ourselves. I think um, I think our decor has been uh, been looked at as a weak part for a while, and uh, I know every single guy that's a part of it likes to uh, likes to kind of push back there. And um, we've had our times where I think we've been playing really well. Um, and I mean, coming down to playoff time, that's just where you want to be at uh, every game. Says, um, Callie Rosen's calling, getting called up uh, for the Islanders mm -hmm. game. And just a few words about playing with him. Oh, he's a great player. I mean, one of the best defensive skaters I've played with. So uh, it's going to be exciting to see him up here again. Um, I know he, he did well when he was up here last time. Um, so uh, I mean, just excited and really happy for him. What guy is he? Oh, a really good guy. I think uh, I love the Swedish guys. They're funny. Uh, their, their take on the game and kind of coming in is, is pretty funny and different from uh, the North American guys. But it's it's great. The guys the guys that we have, uh, even though how diverse it is, um, everyone seems to come in and buy in pretty quickly. How does your role uh, adjust in any way playing with Marty? I mean, Marv's a really good defensive player, I think, um, that can make great plays on the transition to, to set us up going the other way. So um, I can just get open for him, um, and I think we're going to have a great game. I think we have some good chemistry going, and uh, see if we can keep, uh, keep that going. The fact that Austin went through an injury in the second half last year and came back a few weeks before playoffs, like, did you approach him at all as you were kind of recovering, kind of ask, like, how, how did you go about getting back at this time of year? Not really. Um, because I mean, I, I knew the the plan pretty much the night that I got hurt um, from the trainers. We sat down and pretty much wrote it out to uh, day by day what I what I wanted to accomplish, and I, I seemed pretty quickly uh, quickly attached to that plan, and uh, it's been going well so far. So I, I think I had my uh, my recovery time uh, mindset set pretty quickly, and I've just been sticking to that. Does that help then at least like the moment happens almost to be able to say okay? Here's the path to get back. Like that yeah, out right away. for sure. I mean, uh, especially as a guy, like, you, you don't know your body pretty much as well as these guys do. It's uh, you know what you're feeling, but uh, you don't know exactly what to do. And um, so having the great team that we have here sit down with me and make sure that I know step by step what to do and how I'm going to get back quickly and strong um, was was very calming for me and took the stress out of it pretty quickly. What's the team hope to accomplish over the last week? Uh, just kind of tie up the loose ends. I think um, just try to get as prepared as you can for uh, for the series coming up. Um, and just trying to understand what we're going to be up against and try to get as prepared as we can for that. What was that? The first part. Themes of the day. Themes of the day. One theme of the day. Sorry, drilling down on one. Oh, yeah, that's what he's. I got you. I got you. I don't know. Crystallize them right. What do you make of that approach? Yeah, I mean, um, playing our perfect game is is a big picture, and there's a lot of things that come into it. So um, I think as we're coming down to the end here, you try to try to focus on things individually, um, as opposed to a, a big part, and it, it seems to come together easier. Um, and kind of, it's less of a less of a headache where you have to think about so many things and just focus on one thing, get that down path, and worry about the next.